Okay, uh, question is, how was the city affected by the Great Migration? Uh, as I said, brought a lot of skilled workers, brought a lot of labor to the city that was needed in, all, in every field that was necessary to grow this city, okay? It brought people who were already professionals, who started their own businesses, who did a lot of things that made life better in this city. Okay. And as I said earlier, it was affected by those people that were already here, the Black Brigade that saved the city from being burned to the ground. Uh, for uh, a lot of businesses, and before there was a state lottery, okay, that was a game called a numbers game, and it was across the United States, really across the world. It's still played in Brazil and Philippines now. Okay. So you pick three numbers. You play those numbers, you put a penny on it, a nickel, a dime, okay, and if you won, you won some money. So people would go around, collect that money, uh, place that bet as, as it were, okay, and if you won, you won a lot of money. But those people that, who were collecting money and who were putting the money up for that game made a lot of money, okay. Miss Bohannon was making $3,500 a day. Okay, other guys were making $10,000 a day off of nickels, dimes, pennies, and quarters, okay? This was not dollars, okay? Yeah, and you had people in Dayton, Chillicothe making $15,000 a day, okay? Uh, the state uh, decided and started to prosecute them saying that this game was detrimental to black people, okay? Because they were the people who were making the game work, okay? So they, they started calling it nigger pool, okay? Because mostly black people played the game. Eventually, they shut it down, they restructured it, and bought the same game out, which is called the state lottery across the United States, okay? So for all that period when those young men and young women were in that game, the numbers game, and making that kind of money, they, they weren't like a lot of the rock stars you have today. The rock stars you have today take the money, they keep it, they buy 18 yachts and 13 houses, okay? In those days, when those guys and ladies got that money, they spent it on developing new businesses in the community, they sent people to college, okay? Black or white didn't matter, okay? They started new businesses around the country. So there was this infiltration of people who played that game that moved money around the city. And what's important in any community is that your money move around the community at least five or six times. The black guy that just got off work goes to the black drugstore, gets him something, the black grocer goes to the black grocery store and gets his food, the black grocer goes to the black doctor, and that money moves in your community several times before it leaves. Today, it doesn't move at all.